Assalamu alaikum my dear brothers and sisters, uh, welcome back in action. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, symbol interest which is uh, a mathematic concept in high school as well as in primary. You know in KCB you know symbol is interest is very much examined and of course uh, when you go to form 3 as well, uh, the last chapter of Taban work that is form 3 work you just understand. Okay, the commercial arithmetic. Okay, that's where we're going to see again a simple interest when it's in advanced level. Just understand that. Now, uh, for today's class, uh, we will talk about simple interest. Okay, simple interest. So it's abbreviated as I, I interest I is equal to B and T divided by 100. So this is the formula of getting interest. Interest I is equal to B at T all over 100. So in this formula, uh, whether you are in primary or in high school, you are expected to know how to get interest, principal, rate, and time. Okay? But this uh, 100 is constant. Nobody is going to ask you in the examination. So at the end of this class, we must be in a position. Okay? We must be in a position to solve or to get the value of either of these four. Okay? Just understand that. So you must be in a position to know how to get principal, how to get rate, how to get time, and as well as how to get interest itself. Okay? So far we have this formula without wasting time. Uh, let us write the first example. Uh, you are told example one. Look at this example. Example one. You are told Abdi deposited. Abdi deposited. She then changed 400 in a bank, in a bank, which paid, in a bank which paid, simple interest, simple interest, at the rate of, at the rate of, 5% full stop at the rate of 5% per annum full stop how much interest how much interest did he earn how much interest did he earn after three after three years after three years okay Look at this question. In mathematics, we say that a student must possess three qualities. Okay, that is understanding the nature of the question first. Two, that student must also be a student which has got a speed. Because if you are a low writer, okay, if you are a person who's taking time to calculate, then whether you are doing KCB or KCC or something, okay, then make sure you have we say speed and accuracy. Okay, yeah. Again, what you are getting must be the correct answer. Okay. You are told Abdi deposited. Bear in mind this terminology here. Yeah? Once you are told Abdi borrowed or Abdi deposited, we say that in mathematics, money borrowed or money deposited is what you normally call principal. Don't forget that. The moment you hear, you hear those two words, borrowed or deposited, that's your principal. Just understand that. So you are told Abdi deposited she 2400 in a bank which paid simple interest at the rate of 5% per annum. Full stop. Okay? Uh, after this full stop, you have the principal and you have the rate. Just understand that. Okay, I told how much interest. So what's under question mark is the interest. Just understand that. How much interest did he earn after three years? So let me write the information from the question. Yeah? Just understand. I'll say like this. Coming to the solution, I'll say like this. Uh, I have my principal as she 2400. Just understand the nature of the question. Yeah? Money deposited or money poured from a bank. Or money deposited in the bank. Is what you normally call it, simple interest. Then I have also rate, which is 5% per annum. Then I also have what? Time, T, which is 3 years. So what's under question mark here is, under question mark is, interest. But we know that interest I is equal to BRT divided by 100. Principal times rate times time divided by 100. So I'm going to say interest I is equal to 2400, which is our principal, times 
the rate written as a fraction, 5 out of 100 times the period, which is the time, 3 years, okay? Times 3. 2 zero, we move with 2 zero, yeah? just understand that. Then you're going to say, interest I, therefore, just understand the rate of the question, yeah? interest I is equal to, you multiply 200, interest is equal to 204 times 15. 204 times 15. That would give us uh, 2040 plus. If I do the right calculation, 2040 plus, yes, understand, yeah? 10 change. 10 change. 10 change. Then this will give me 0603. So interest, therefore, I is equal to 3060. Let me write shin 30. Shin 3060. That is uh, the final answer uh, for this uh, question for your information. So what are you getting, guys? You are to add the deposit. We say the money deposited in a bank or money borrowed from a bank is what you normally call interest. Uh, is what you normally call principal, sorry. Then the moment you hear the word deposited or borrowed, then that's your principal. Just understand that. So you're going to say, you are told after you deposited 20,000 in a bank, which pay the simple interest at the rate of 5% per annum. Full stop. So we have also the rate. How much interest, understand, because you said the, the last full stop in mathematics is very important. Okay? How much interest did he earn after three years? So let me get interest. Knowing that interest is equal to what? BRT or what? 100. So write the information. We have our principal as 2400, rate as 5%, in time T, so three years, but interest is under question. Then use the formula for your information, yeah? Guys, make sure you use the formula. It is very, very handful, by the way. Just understand that. Very, very what? Handful. Uh, so far we say that we are expected to get interest, principal, rate, and time. Then in our next uh, example, we are going to see how to get uh, what you normally call, uh, uh, let's say how to get again a principal. Let's check, yeah? Let's check how to get the, the principal or money portal, yeah? Let's see that. This is our example two. Our example two is this one, okay? Uh, you're told, uh, look at this question, you're told, uh, Ochano, Ochano borrowed some money from a bank. Some money from a bank. From a bank at simple interest. At simple interest. Rate of 8% for two years. For what? For two years. For two years. Beric. So you're told or trying to borrow some money. We don't know the money borrow, yeah? Just understand. So it should be under question. We are looking for principle, just understand. Okay, at the end of the period, you are told. At the end of the period, at the end of the period, he paid, he paid interest, he paid interest amounting to cash, eh? amounting to cash, eh? shift turn change, first time. You're told how much? How much money had he borrowed? Had he borrowed? He's under question. Okay, let's understand the nature of this question. You're told or turn a it. I said the money borrowed from a bank. Or money deposited in a bank is what you normally call simple interest, okay? Uh, it's what you normally call, sorry, principal. Yes, understand, yeah? Money borrowed from a bank or money deposited in a bank is called a principal. So you're told or you're not borrowed some money. We don't know the money for it. From a bank at a simple interest rate of what? 8%. So let me write the information here. I know that. Look here. I know that. B is under question because we don't know the money for it. Then our rate R is what? 8%. Just understand this thing. 
And it's what? 8%. Then time T is equal to 2 years. I also have interest. Don't forget. Interest I is equal to shilling 51 change. Okay. How will I get the principal, guys? In schools, okay? Or in our local schools. We have teachers that are taking these values in this one. No. That's not the case, man. You must know how to drive or how to make a, quantity, a, a certain quantity of formula, the subject of the formula again, okay? Like now, in this situation, you're looking for P, okay? Then I will say like this, come here, solution. Come to this point, please. Write the formula. We say interest, I is equal to BRT over 100. Our target is to get B, or to make B the subject of the formula, okay? Just understand. This is very helpful, my friend, in primary. The moment you learn this thing in primary, then in high school, to not understand you guys. So what are you going to do? First, you're going to make your equation linear by eliminating this one, okay? You will eliminate this one by saying times 100, times also 100. Cancel these two. Make your equation linear. Eliminate the denominator. Just understand? Eliminate the denominator. So I will have 100 times I, which is interest. 100 times I, okay, is equal to BRT. Why? Because this one has gone. 100 times I is equal to BRT. Then my target is to get what? B. Let me eliminate these two. Divide both sides by RT. RT. Cancel RT with RT, okay? Then we are left with B. So principle is equal to 100 times I divided by RT. 100 times I divided by RT. Okay, then we're gonna say principal in this situation is equal to 100 times I value, which is 520 divided by rate times time. Yes, and so rate times time. Our rate is what? 8 times time, which is 2. So, here, what matters is, uh, what matters here is, do you know how to divide? Okay, this is by 4, 2, by 4 is change 5. Okay. By 2, 1, by 2 is 2 because of 4, 5, 6. Okay, then 0, don't forget that. Again, by 2, 1, by 2 is 1, 2, 8, 0. 1, 2, 8, 0. 1, 2, 8, 0. Term is 5 now. You must have what? You must have your calculator, but in primary, we say that we carry out the operation. Yeah? So we're going to say 1280. Times what? 25. Okay? Zero. Zero again. Because we have carry four. 10, 14, carry one. Six. This is zero. This is 16, carry one. Four, five. Then this is two. So we'll have zero, zero, zero again. Two, three. So this was the money borrowed by Otieno. Shilling that 2000, okay? He has borrowed an amount of what? An amount of shilling that 2000 from the bank. That made him, okay, to pay back an interest of what? 5,100 and change. 5,100 and change, guys. So uh, this is how you're gonna get interest and what? Principle. Because so far, this is a very fantastic concept that even will be nice. Then, uh, God willing, in our next class, okay, we will learn how to get uh, how to get rate and time plus the other application part of this uh, concept of mathematics because we have what you normally call amount also within this uh, formula, okay, within this concept, so within this concept of mathematics, this concept of simple interest, we have another one called amount. Then in our next video, God willing, okay, uh, if all goes well. Uh, we're going to tackle those three, yeah? getting the rate time and as well as the amount, the total amount paid back by a certain character after borrowing a, a certain amount of money for a period of time, okay? Just understand, guys, okay? And you know this back in action, guys. I'll be helping you whether you're in primary or in high school, okay? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this uh, academic YouTube channel. I'll be helping you. And if you have problem with the mathematics, make sure you leave your comment in our comment box, okay? Make sure you also share this knowledge to your family members and friends. Until next time, I wish you the best.